congratulations, Milos. Um, there were various times when you were tested tonight, but one of the biggest tests would have to be the tiebreak at the end of the first set. It was edge of the seat tennis. What did winning that first set mean to you? Uh, it went a long ways for me. Things would have been very difficult if uh, that was not the case. Uh, coming back from 5-1 in that first set was very important. Obviously, I had a lot of chances at the beginning of that set to take uh, two breaks, to get up two breaks, which is a scenario that I, uh, I'll feel very confident with, with my game in. And um, it didn't pan out that way. So to be able to turn around that scenario was significant, and it paid off towards the end of the match where th there was a lot of ups and downs and uh, thankfully I made, was able to come out on top. Before you said you were going to have to dictate tonight's match if you were to win, how difficult was it to achieve? Yeah, there was a lot of moments where that was going up and down. There was a lot of moments where I was the one being reactive. There was uh, a few moments also where I was able to control sort of the pace of the match. Uh, thankfully I finished off being able to control the scenario and that turned out good for me. But. Uh, something I'm going to have to definitely pay a lot of attention to for my next match as well. Okay. Uh, Rafa has said that you can be the world's best if you keep improving as you are. What, how do you respond to that? Oh, it's a great honour, and uh, especially coming from a player that's as successful and uh, as experienced and has achieved as many great things as he has being up there as one of the best players of all time. But it's, uh, it's a compliment that uh, doesn't do the work for me. i got to keep going out there every single day, putting in the work and with that conviction that uh, and that those objectives that it's going to help me get better and it's going to get me closer and closer to achieving those things.